<laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not coming because I'm going to be too embarrassed. I'm Donna Meyerthal. I got an email from somebody this morning. Vince must be really happy because he's singing from the other side of the office all the time. When I met Vince, um, I had just moved to the brand new research site at Stevenage and Vince had just started a brand new job there as well and we were both in a porter cabin as the site was being built along with a lot of other people um, planning to get the site ready for people to move into. Um, I think from memory it was 94. I thought it was great as a northerner because there weren't many of us around. Do you know I've been trying to think whether I was his boss at that time or not and I can't remember because there's been so many changes. His key role was in what they used to call the EPU which was the on-site incinerator where all the waste, on-site waste was going to be burned um, and when you are doing something as complex as Vince was doing at that time which was managing a really highly technical piece of plant you couldn't afford to get it wrong. There was a fire in the incinerator plant and this was not a fire that was intended to be there to burn the waste this was a fire in the plant itself a large number of people called in to deal with that fire of which of course vince was one there was quite an exciting um, vision of foam all over the place and various people buried in the foam and doing what they needed to do to actually get this fire out and um, and Vince and his team coped really well. That particular incident on the Stevenage site has gone down in, in history really. Um, do you remember the EPU fire? Yeah. <laughs> he lived and breathed and owned that plant and everything that went on in it and even though his job has changed since for me that was that was his his key role at the site was when he was managing that plant effectively he was managing managing it on his own with with the small team he'd got so he'd got a guy called Pete a guy called Jerry um, and a couple of others and they made a really strong team and he came out of there to take a more general um, management type role um, and as a manager of people sometimes there are some difficult decisions that you have to make um, and I don't think any of us find them easy and and I don't think Vince found some of them easy either that some of the things that you have to do I think it would be fair to say that yeah I think so it'd be interesting to see what Vince thinks <laughs> he's a, he's just a genuine person he's friendly he's outgoing and I do miss that and I think the company will miss that as well because he, he cares. Vince cares about people. He cares about getting the job done. And I think sometimes he might be a bit tardy. If I've asked him once, I've asked him 10 times to do things. He will do it in the end, but there's a Vince time and there's an ordinary time. And normally he's on Vince time. You need to be interested in Vince and you need to be interested in Vince's family. Because if you're not interested in that, then I don't think he'd perform as well because he wants you to know what they're, get, what they're doing. And to be fair, Vince has got a very interesting family and his kids do some great things. And there's a lot of us who like to keep up to date with what they're doing. And so in a way, I felt like I've seen the kids grow up. I think Vince has been down south, as we call it, since he moved to work for GSK. I actually think he'd be happier moving back up there, frankly. Um, and then people can understand what he's saying. <laughs> Vince is fun. He, I think he's a closet actor. He wants to, in inverted commas, perform. That's the way I see him. So all of that is, is really bottled up inside him. As somebody who's now got some paintings, one of them, so I, I'm going to frame one of them. I didn't even know I could draw. I've never drawn anything since I was in infant school. So who knows what he could do? I could see him now in a costume on the stage, absolutely queening it across the stage. He'd love it. He'd absolutely love it. And he'd be so much happier than filling in forms and ticking boxes. And I'll be the first one to buy a ticket for his next play, tell him. <laughs> I am happy. I am happy.